Peace and blessings everyone, it's me Gigi and I'm here today with another soap making video. Today we're going to be making um, coconut soap. This is going to be a purely natural coconut soap, 100% coconut oil, no colors, no um, fragrances, just a pure natural soap. This was a request, um, someone had requested that I make a soap. They didn't request a video, they just requested that I make a soap that was just 100% pure. I mean, they, you know, a lot of the soaps that I make, I do have a purely natural line, but they didn't even want any fragrance, any um, scents in them at all. So, on my natural line of soaps, I use essential oils, which is natural because it comes straight directly from the plant. So, those are natural soaps as well, but they wanted a fragrance free um, soap. So I said okay, and I just figured if they wanted that, you know, they and they they would um, they requested that of me that there were probably more people out there that wanted a fragrance free soap. So with this soap is going to be made of just 100% um, coconut oil. I'm going to be using um, coconut milk and um, and coconut oil. So um, we let's see how this one comes out. Um, coconut oil is known to be a very cleansing um, oil. So in order to combat um, the soap from drying out the skin, I'm going to be super fatting at 30%, which means um, for people that you know make soap, soap makers, they know what the super fatting thing is all about. But for those of you that don't know, and if you're not interested in soap making, don't really worry about it. Um, but if those that those that are interested in like making soap down the line somewhere super fatting is something that you can research and um, look up but basically what happens is is that um, 30 percent of the the coconut oil is going to be used for moisturizing your skin while 70 percent of it's going to be used for cleansing the skin so um, and it's all done in the measurements the calculations and things with the when I use the um sodium hydroxide which is lye um, it's going to um, saponify 75% um, I'm sorry 70% of the coconut oil and then the 30% of it will be used um, will not be saponified and it will be used for moisturizing the skin so um, that's just basically what super fat means it's all coconut oil it's just an additional amount that's going to be used for moisturizing your skin okay so without further ado you guys let's get started okay so here we are I have my oil my coconut oil I just added the kaolin clay to the coconut oil I'm gonna go ahead and blend the, the clay into the oils um, let's get my blender together here. I'm going to go ahead and blend this clay in into the oils. I try to get it blended really nicely. It's important that I blend this clay in um, really good because I don't want it to have clumps and lumps and you know I just want it to be nice and smooth. I, I soak to have a nice smooth texture. So with the clay it's important that it's blended in well. I set my camera up on the other side this time so that you guys can see and um, I'm trying to do everything from my left. I am left. I am a lefty, so <laughs> I'm gonna try to make sure you guys can see everything I'm doing.
Now I'm going to add my lye water to the oils. Now this is what actually turns the oils into soap. Well first I got to glove up for safety because when you're working with lye it, it could splash on you and I used to get burned quite a bit. Um, yeah, making the soap. And even I was gloved up, I wouldn't have on long sleeves. And um, so now, you know, I'm taking the precautions, the you know, proper safety precautions that's required so that I don't get burned. But I used to get burned on my arms quite a bit um, from using the lye water. Well, from, you know, not having the proper precautions actually. <laughs> Safety precautions, that is. Okay, so right now I'm going to add the lye water. Oh, my goggles. Safety goggles. Just in case it decides to jump up out of the, um, the pot here. <laughs> At least my eyes will be protected. Okay, so I'm adding. Let's see, let me kind of get. Hopefully, you guys can see what I'm doing here. I'm adding the lye water to the oils. Okay. And then I'm gonna mix this up. Also, now I'm going to go ahead and add the coconut milk to the mixture. I guess if I do it. Remember, this is um, plain, um, pure soap. Okay? No extra colors, no fragrance. Fragrance, is, this is gonna be totally fragrance free. Blended like I'm gonna try to get a, a thick a trace. Now you see how this is this this um you see how this kind of comes off the spoon. You can see it still coats the um the blender. It is that trace. It has reached trace. But being that I am only I'm not working with any colors or any fragrances, I can get this to a nice thick trace before I pour it. So um. At least, you know, I'm just trying to get it thicker so that I can have a nice um, thickness, a certain thickness so that I can at least texture the top of the soap. So I'm going to um, just blend a little more until I get, you know, a nice consistency where it won't be runny and I can add some texture to the top of the soap. Or if not, I'd have to wait until it sets up a little more before I can texture it. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue to stick blend. Thick 
trace here. Lots of air bubbles. Okay. But this will allow me to actually, you know, texturize the top, try to put a little, um, just texture on the top of the soap so it won't just be flat on top. I can put in some peaks and little things like that on top of the soap. It's like a nice pudding consistency right now. Okay, here I am. <laughs> um, just scraping the rest of the soap out of the mold, out of the um, bowl here. Just try to texturize the top of it. See, this soap is actually set. It's set up pretty quickly. Once your soap sets up, it's not very much that you can um, do with it after it gets to a certain point. All you can do is just let it continue to get hard. That's why sometimes you have to work really fast with um, when you're trying to do colors and swirls and things like that. You have to work really fast because once it sets up, you're done. <laughs> it, is, it is what it is at that point. Well, folks, here we have it. Our pure white coconut soap. So I'll be back in the next video with the cutting of the soap, and um, or maybe you know tomorrow we'll just go ahead and cut, let the soap sit overnight. Come back and cut it tomorrow and see what we have. Okay, thanks for watching. Good morning, everyone. So I'm back here with the coconut soap. Um, I have started cutting the soap already. The soap actually came out so beautifully, you guys. Um, yeah, so I'm just going through the process. I just wanted to make this a very quick video to show you guys how nice this white soap came out. This is a pure natural, no unscented, pure natural coconut soap made with coconut oil and coconut milk. It came out so beautifully. It's very hard. It's a very hard bar of soap already. This soap is really, I mean, I'm very impressed with how this turned out. Okay, so we're cutting the soap, in the process of cutting the soap now, and um, we'll just go from there. Here you go. Yeah, this, this really, this came out very nice. It has absolutely no scent. It's just a pure bar of soap. So, my neighbor's dog barking. Oh, 
Today's a beautiful day in California. I know back east you guys have some horrible weather. So here we have it. I gotta give this soap a name. If you guys can think of anything, any names for this soap, please post your comments down below and let me know. Um, also, if you like this video, I'm always forgetting to ask my viewers to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have your use as a subscriber to my video channel. Um, if you like this video, please click like on the link and your subscription would be wonderful. Okay? Um, thank you guys so very much for watching. Have a great day. Peace and blessings.